Hi guys, so Liz Truss didn't have everything her way when she answered questions from the audience at the event hosted by Kay Burley. One particular question was about a policy that she had planned to implement which would have harmed nurses, teachers and police officers to name a few. It would have also disproportionately affected the North as well. Following a backlash, the Foreign Secretary and candidate to replace Boris Johnson did a U-turn. This policy was brought up by a member of the audience and kudos to him because he put Truss on the spot. However, a gammon attempted to come to Liz's defence. Have a listen. Hi, thanks very much. Liz, why did you announce a well-researched and fully costed policy in which you openly said you valued the work of teachers, nurses and police officers in Newcastle, where I work, less than you value those in Guildford, for example? We're having this election because of poor judgment and trust. Why should we trust your judgment? Well, the reason that I immediately decided not to pursue that policy is it was being misinterpreted, in fact, in exactly the way you said. <laughs> OK, this makes zero sense. So Liz Truss had a policy, it was costed, and she was moving forward with this policy. And She's saying, well, people mis misrepresented or misinterpreted my policy. So the natural solution to that is to take the policy away. No, the natural solution is to clarify, to educate people. No, this is what the policy is going to do and explain it in detail. Liz Truss threw something against the wall, hoping it would stick. And instead of it sticking, it flew back in her face. So she took the policy away and now is lying about it. Because it wasn't about teachers or nurses or doctors. And immediately as there were concerns expressed about this policy, I said, we're not going ahead with it. And I do think in politics, there are times when you have to make judgments about what is right and you have to be honest with the public. And I was- <laughs> That's not being honest. You're lying once again. How are you being honest here? You had a policy. People said it's a bad policy. And instead of actually, and your response is, um, not, she's not even defending the policy. Her response is, I'm taking the policy away. Uh, because people didn't understand it. This is taking people for mugs. This is believing that the public are stupid. I was very honest about the situation. It wasn't a core part of my policy plank, but I'd rather be upfront. And if there's a problem, make a decision and deal it with it straight away. And I think- <sighs> She's a coward. She's not able to stand, behi stand behind her policies. In the same way that she used to be a Remainer and then she jumped on board the Brexit bus the way she defended Boris Johnson, because she believed that Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson would weather this storm or in some way this would further her career. I don't know, maybe she had planned to resign. She had a meeting with Boris Johnson and he would say, look, I'll, I'll convince my acolytes to support you. And she said, well, that's good enough for me. She met with the ERG and she told the ERG exactly what they wanted to hear. She jumped through whatever hoops they put in front of her and they backed her. She's a charlatan. She's a liar. She's not to be trusted. She's just like Boris Johnson. I think you can see in my time as foreign secretary, in my time as trade secretary, I've been completely upfront about everything I've done. I've explained why I've done it. I've explained when there is a change, why there is a change. And that's the approach I would take as prime minister. So uh, the press release didn't say that. It said that it would be, um, it, it in order to reach the 8.8 .8 billion in savings, that it would be expanded out beyond civil service, uh, be beyond the civil service itself. Um, so that's a mistake. Will you apologise? Because it was actually quite offensive. Well, I have been very clear that I will not go ahead with this policy, and that I have made a decision to do that straight away. And I've been upfront about that. Okay. I don't think there is anything to be ashamed of. You lied to people. You presented a policy and instead of actually admitting that the policy was a mistake, you're saying, no, I'm taking it back because people didn't understand it. That's dishonest. You should be apologising for that. 
But wait till you hear the next bit. Of saying publicly that this is not working as I wanted it to work, and therefore I have changed the position on it, and I'm not going ahead with it. OK, this gentleman had a view on that. Just wait for your microphone, sir. Can we just get a microphone down here? Thank you. You were shaking your head, sir. I did, yeah. I'm, I hate this um, apologise, you know, for everything that you might have said. I just don't really don't understand it. The, the opposition are always asking uh, other politicians to apologise for what they may or may not have done. Uh, and it really doesn't sit well with me. When somebody's yeah. asking for your vote, you don't expect to be offended? Well... <laughs> Simple as that. What's that supposed to mean? But, you know, And then Liz Truss jumps in. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. I, I don't know if this is on the other bottom of the screen. This lady is laughing about all of this. That's what you have to do. You have to laugh. It's all a massive joke. This idiot at the front, you know. <laughs> why why are you asking politicians to apologize? Why why are we always asking it's the opposition are always asking other politicians to apologise. I'm tired of people apologising. Why do they have to apologise? This guy is part of the problem. This is the t this guy probably is a Boris backer. Somebody who thinks that Boris Johnson got all the big calls right and he got Brexit done and he... <laughs> he... I don't know what. He was, he was the one who rolled out the vaccine or whatever. Fastest growing no nation in the G7 and all this sort of rubbish. I imagine this is this guy who's pointing here in the center of the screen uh, is one of these Boris backers. Um, this guy is part of the problem, as I've said. You have one guy who's asking Liz Truss to apologize for a policy that was demeaning to his constituent. I, I think he's a Tory, uh, I don't know, councillor or whatever. That's what the, most of these people are, or maybe he's just a member of the, the Conservative Party. But he's concerned about people in his constituency being lied to. Being lied to, they were lied to by Boris Johnson, and they're going to be lied to by Liz Truss. And we've arrived at this mess because of lies. The public are turning on Boris Johnson because of his lies. Boris Johnson is famous for lying. Many people overlooked that in 2019, thinking, well, at least he'll get Brexit done. But that was a lie as well. And Liz Truss is just going to continue with the lies. She lied throughout this um, exchange with people. And she'll continue to lie when she's Prime Minister. And nothing is going to change. She lied about this policy talking about how, yeah, I took it away because people didn't understand it. Complete and utter BS. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.